Hey 30k subscribers, what's up? It's Vivs from Slidenerd here. Today, let me show you how to set up material design in Android Studio by making a navigation drawer that uses a toolbar which works as an action bar. Okay, now that sounds too much, but let's go to Android Studio and go from the start. Let me show you a lot of steps. So go to the new project first, call it material test if you want. Of course, I should have capitalized it, but never mind. For the package name, I'll simply say slidener.webs.materialtest over here. So I'm going to just click next here at this point, and it's going to give me a list of options. Select phone and tablet, click next. I'm not going to add anything here because every time I try to add something, Android Studio always messes up. And besides, if you thought that, hey, let's make a navigation drawer by selecting navigation drawer activity, I'm sorry for you because this is deprecated and this is going to give a whole lot of shit in the code and you are going to sit and edit it. Rather, let's start with the place where it says add no activity. So let's click that, click finish here. And at this point, Gradle is busy doing something. Let's just hope the Gradle build doesn't fail because I'm going to have a big, big headache if it fails and I didn't have my coffee either so so there you go at this point the project is created there is nothing inside the app because we have not done anything so the first thing that we got to do is to support material design on devices newer or above lollipop and at the same time run material design on the older devices that is pre lollipop so how do we do that very simple we just go to the first place where we don't really go that is our build.gradle file. Now here is the basic idea. The app compat v7 library that you guys are familiar with has been upgraded to support material design. In other words, you can go to the build.gradle for your app in Android Studio and you can go down here inside dependencies and you can add a compiled dependency for app compat version 7.21.0. plus over there. Now remember in my case Right now, my target SDK is 21. In your case, if you're looking at 22 or 23, whatever it is, you need to upgrade this value appropriately. So at this point, the, the app compat team, the app compat library has been included inside our project. Now let's go back to our manifest file and make some changes. So there's our manifest file. It says style slash at the rate app theme. Now the first thing is let's go to the styles and take a look at what that styles really looks like. There's a style.xml, there's two files as you can see there's a v21 and then there's the normal styles.xml. Let's open a normal one first and take a look at that. It says app theme, parent is android theme, hollow, light, dark, action bar, blah blah blah. We don't want this. So at this point in Android Studio, we have named our theme as app theme, the parent is theme.appcompat.noactionbar. Now if you notice, it is highlighted in red and it says cannot resolve symbol blah blah blah. The reason is we have added a compile time dependency inside our file here. This is the build.gradle file. Oops, the other build.gradle file over here. And we haven't rebuilt our app in Android Studio, which is why it's not able to find these things which are actually defined inside your library. So let's go up and rebuild our project by simply saying rebuild at the top over there. So once the rebuild is completed, you will notice automatically that this thing is now in green color. So let me explain exactly what is happening. So if, if you go to values here, it is styles.xml. Now if you open the v21 styles.xml, you will notice that its parent is android theme material.light. Now this is the actual material design theme which has been defined by android but on devices older than v21 which is lollipop here you use the theme.appcompat.noactionbar of course i'm going to change this to theme.material.noactionbar as well so that would make it the same theme on lollipop as well as the olden devices so why are we choosing the no action bar isn't that a question that you guys have because you see the action bar has been deprecated by something known as the toolbar and we are going to use the toolbar in our app. So let's go to Java here and we're going to create a new activity at this point by simply saying Android blank activity. Now of course we need a navigation drawer but if you set, select a navigation drawer activity here it's going to create a navigation drawer using the old technique which is also deprecated at the point of making this video. I had the navigation drawer videos on my playlist and they are deprecated right now. So you go select a blank activity, 
till you guys actually find that Android Studio or Eclipse supports creating the new navigation uh, drawer with a template over there. So just go to main activity as the name, layout name activity underscore main, menu underscore main, launcher activity. Okay, click finish. So at this point, there is our main activity. Things look pretty weird because we have not configured any colors and stuff because we need to configure colors if you want to define your accent color, primary color, text primary, text secondary, stuff like that. So let's just run this and see what we get on the screen at this point. <clears throat> so at this point, here is our app. This is the basic setup that you're going to get for material design. We have not added the action bar because I selected theme there's no action bar myself and of course there is no color configured whether it's light or dark or anything so let's just go back and make some color configurations in our app to make things look better okay before i make color changes let's actually try to see what we would see if there was a better theme which had an action bar of its own so in other words if you say theme app compact light in both the places that is here and in our v21 where we take theme dot act material dot light over there and if you go to activity underscore main dot xml in android studio it shows us a nice preview of how things will look so let's run it and try to find out what happens on the screen in the real device and if you run it here is the funny thing the app has this hello world displayed and there is no sign of the action bar at the top. So what is going on? Let's go to main activity and try to figure out. This is the culprit over here. When you have your main activity and you're using app compat v7, you're supposed to extend the action bar activity over here. So of course, make that a capital B with a capital bar. And once you do that, you can go back, select the app and again run it and see if that has changed or put the action bar in its place. And there you go. It has put the action bar over there. This is our primary or you can see basic material design themed app over here. If you click on the overflow icon here, it shows us the menu just like Android material design specs would say that you should have the pop-up menu hiding the icon behind it over there. So let's just close it and it is gone now of course i can change the theme here go back here to light instead of instead of that i can take dark and let's take a look at that here theme dot theme dot app compat dot uh, that's the only one we need we don't need to specify dark just say theme dot app compat and by default it is assumed it's dark same way we can go here and say theme dot app compat dot material here you can see that here inst instantly on the preview screen everything has converted into black color right now if you go here click run at the top you should be able to see the app using the dark theme right now by default and there is our dark theme you can see how the toolbar converts a dark background and suitably places white text on it and when you select the light theme it takes the light background and places dark text on it just like we guys saw over there now let's go back and see one more variation which you guys are going to be using most likely and that is this one which says light dot dark action bar we can go here to this again we can say dot material dot light dot dark action bar and there you go where the background is mostly going to be light but the action bar is going to be dark so let's just select that again and run it over here and if you guys notice at this point we have whole background out there which is light in color and what we have is the dark action bar so in this video i have showed you how to set up the basic material design in your android studio in the next video it's time to start customizing the different colors using the color primary color secondary and stuff like that and also proceed further to make our navigation drawer in the meantime if you do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching have a nice day